Hey everybody, my name is Gus, this is my aquarium info, and this is Porcel Pinata. It's a relatively new aquatic moss that's only been in the hobby for just under a year. The stem is actually a different color, so instead of just seeing green growth, you actually see the defined stem and then the leaves. It's different, it's refreshing, and it's pretty cool, so let's go over some of the stuff that you'll need to know when keeping the Porcel Pinata. We'll start with its name, Porcel Pinata. And the thing is that Porcel Pinata is not a scientifically recognized name. This moss is actually called Perella Pinata, which is a scientifically recognized name. And actually this moss isn't a moss at all. It's a liverwort. Very similar, but ultimately very different. Because liverworts and mosses and even hornworts do share a common ancestor. However, they're not directly related to one another. They're each their own class, but very, very similar. But it's not a big deal. This kind of reminds me of the Marima moss ball, which are known worldwide as moss balls, but are in fact algae. So for the rest of this video, I'll just refer to it as Pinata moss. Even though it's new to the hobby, this moss comes to us from around the world, with many aquarists reporting the use in the UK and America. It grows on the shaded parts of rocks, trees, and bark down low and close to the water where it can stay moist like the edges of lakes. And in fact, it can thrive underwater, and that's why it's being used in the aquarium hobby now. Unlike your typical aquarium moss, which is all green, has a simple stem and a spiral growth of leaves, this moth is defined by a flattened stem and overlapping leaves that branch out and give the pinata moss a larger appearance. When it comes to the aquarium setup for this moss, it's very simple. It's not a hard moss to keep, it's actually pretty hardy. It'll do best in temperatures in between 68 and 80 degrees. It will need lighting, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Just make sure that it gets eight hours a day and it should grow just fine. CO2 has not proven to boost the growth of the Pinata Moss, but on the other hand, light dosing can be beneficial for the Pinata Moss. You can attach this moss to a rock or a piece of driftwood so that it can grow out, but the higher you place it in your aquarium, the more it'll grow. Pretty much all freshwater inhabitants can be kept with this moss, with the exception of herbivores, like crayfish, which will tear it apart. As your panada moss grows, you can simply cut the excess leaves and replant them, or in this case, reattach them to continue growing the panada moss. 